All right, I'm back with some more Crixus the Gaul in our Eagle Rising playthrough, and today the plan is simple. We are going to keep the army going, and we are going to invade the rest of the Southern Roman Empire. As I've said previously, we have already taken down the Northern Imperium, the Western Imperium, and now it is time for the Southern Imperium to join them. First, we are going to have to wait for the new lords to join us because we need to replenish the troops after the fight from yesterday. It was a brutal siege that cost us hundreds of troops. So that being said, we will wait for these. We will release those who have barely any men and we shall march. We will march on this settlement here before moving on to the castle, then this settlement, then that castle, and then we will clean up whatever's left. Taking a look at the war report, they are on 81% exhaustion, we are on 46. But as I've said before, it doesn't matter if they reach 100 because we will not accept their surrender. They are not getting out of this war, they will fall. As for us, we need to siege 6 places before we reach 100. Can it be done? We'll have to find out. Alright, the reinforcements have arrived. We are now up to one and a half thousand men. While we were waiting for them to arrive, I have been buying every bit of food in this settlement non-stop. So we are prepared. <laughs> we're in it for the long haul, lads. We are going for the final siege. We need to make sure the supply lines are good and we don't starve. That being said, it is time to march. We're going to bring down the first of the settlements for today. Oh man, don't you just love it, lads, when you know, you prep your plan, you know what you're going to do, and then all your lords say we should sign peace? This goes against everything we just said we're going to do. <laughs> nope. A thousand influence? Oh man. The cost of being a king, eh? Alright, we have arrived at the first of the settlements and there are 900 defenders. Although that being said, they should run out of food soon and 300 of them should starve. If they do starve and it's not like last time where the food is all a lie, <laughs> then we should be good. But if they don't starve, we're going to have a bit of a brutal fight on our hands. But you know the drill, we gotta build the siege equipment and get ready to take down this settlement one way or another. Alright men, it is time to take down this Roman settlement. We have managed to starve out the garrison, although they did manage to destroy some of our siege equipment because of how quick they were building ballistas. We just couldn't stop them. They were rapid building those ballistas. I don't know what it was, but they were on a mission. <laughs> But either way, there are now 500 defenders left. So we're going to try our best to take them down with as minimal casualties. And move on to the next Roman castles and settlements. Alright, the towers are in place. We have taken a favour of casualties, thanks to those ballistas. But once we're in this castle, it should be pretty much smooth sailing from there. We will make it our purpose to take down those ballistas. We can't allow them to keep firing on the men. That's the plan anyway. Whether that... Uh, oh no. <laughs> the infantry has arrived. Can we just slip on past? Don't mind us lads. Nope. Alright. We're going to have to cut our way through it seems. Excuse me. Coming through. Don't mind me. Alright. Here we go. Axe to the back of the head. And he is dead. All right, that is one of the four ballistas neutralized. <laughs> okay, they clearly want their ballista back. This is going to be a bit of an issue, lads. We have got a fair few to cut through. <laughs> All right, back off. That's what I thought, my friend. Back off. Nobody defeats Crixus the Gaul in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I say hand to hand, I mean close range. <laughs> We're not exactly throttling them with our bare hands now, are we? There's more of them? Oh man, well, so much for taking down the ballista. We haven't had a chance to even get near them.
I don't know how anywhere else in this settlement is uh, doing because I swear all the Romans are on our side. Surely they've just fully attacked us. Is there anyone at the front gate? <laughs> what is going on here? Either way, we're going to chip at them from behind. Working our way through. Come on, lads. That's it. They're not even reacting to me cutting their heads off. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, lads. Was this the entire siege? Did, like, no enemy come from anywhere else? <laughs> Every Roman just marched up here and fought us on the wall? What's going on? If we go into photo mode quick... Don't mind me, lads. Was there anyone else anywhere in this castle? <laughs> There's, like, ten shields at the front gate. The enemy really did attack us on the walls. Oh, well, either way, the settlement is now in our hands. All right, now that we have finally taken the first of the settlements, it is time to continue the attack. We are now going to move on to this castle next. All right, so we have 600 defenders in the next castle. Although, again, they are on the verge of starving. So we can take 200 off the total already. All right, men, you know the drill at this point. It is time to take down another Roman castle. It's going to be a bit of a chilly one with the snow, but you know what? We're going to get the job done either way. I'm feeling it, lads. I am feeling it. The seven for seven. All right, that's one. No, 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 no. You saw that, lads. He sidestepped, right? Someone tipped him off. He sidestepped. He knew what was going to happen. Probably because he saw his mate next to him just get javelin, so he probably thought he'd hide. <laughs> the AI is getting smarter. How are we supposed to win against these? These intelligent Romans, man. <laughs> Alright, come on, men. Let's get this front gate down. We're nearly in, and we're in. Alright, time to smash down this one, and then we are going to slaughter some Romans. Hang on a minute. There's no archers back here. What's going on? Usually there's a firing line waiting for us at the top of the hill. There's nobody here. I don't know what's going on today, lads, but these sieges have been weird. <laughs> First, the Romans send their entire army to the one side of the wall. And now there are no archers to be seen, except for these ones now, because they just spawned. It looks like we got ourselves another easy siege. Have the Romans just given up? <laughs> Did they just see the Gaul army waiting outside and just think, well, this is it, lads. There's no point fighting. It is over. <laughs> They've heard about the countless other settlements and castles that have fallen. So they're just like, what is the point? I mean, I don't blame them, to be honest with you. We have cut down thousands of their people at this point. But either way, this is another castle that is now in the hands of the Gauls. Alright, well, there is no point hanging around. We may as well continue the march. We don't have that many wounded, so we don't have to wait for them to recover. We are going to move on to the next settlement. We have an AI army over here sieging this castle. If they can actually take it, that would be great. It just means one less for me. <laughs> Anything that makes my life easier, I am not going to complain. But either way, we're going to hit up this settlement, probably this castle. And then we have to march on this one over here in the middle of nowhere. But enough talking, let's move. Alright, it looks like we're dealing with 900 defenders. 
Oh, man. And we can't starve them out. Fair enough. We're going to have to do it the old school way and tear down all of their defenses and just throw everyone at the walls. This should be the final Roman settlement, which means this should be the hardest siege of the day. The other two castles shouldn't be able to muster up 900 defenders. All right, men, we have now torn down the Roman defenses. It is time to raid and pillage their lands. We are going to storm this settlement and not leave a single Roman alive. We will kill every single one. They did this to themselves. They started all these wars. And I am going to make sure to end it. Hold on. We're on three for three with the javelins, lads. Oh, no. Can we do it? This one's going to be a bit tricky. Oh, no. Never mind. We hit a shield. <laughs> Oh, we hit a friendly fire. Oh, man. It has been a while since we've done that. We had a good record. I did hit the man with a rock the other day. But to be honest with you, he only took one damage, so I thought nothing of it. Oh, man. I just launched a javelin at a teammate. Ah. Either way, I am going to cut down all these archers, give the men a fighting chance. We don't want them to be shot while they're trying to hold back the infantry now, do we? How many archers are up here? I know I said there's like 900 defenders, but come on. <laughs> Alright, is that it? Are we done? Oh, there's more coming up behind me. Great. <laughs> we have one javelin. Let's make it count, lads. Oh, my God. We actually missed that? I, I, I don't know what to say. How? Where did it go? What, what happened? <laughs> All right. It sounds like there might be someone in here, to be honest with you. Or I might be hearing things. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to check it out. Am I going insane or is there... There is someone up here. Just the one man. And off with his head. All right. <laughs> now we need to assist the men on the other side of the settlement. I'm assuming either the front gate or the other side of the wall is having some difficulties. If we check the bar across the top of the screen, you can see we've cut down all of ours, but everyone else is struggling. All right, lads, I'm following you lot. Why did we run off the wall if we could have just run along the wall? <laughs> Where are you leading me, men? Oh, there we go. As I said, it looks like the front gate is having a bit of a... Bit of technical difficulties, should we say? <laughs> oh, and, uh, well, it's a complete brawl in here, lads. What is going on in here? Who am I swinging at? There's Gauls, there's Romans, there's a bit of everything going on. All right, we're going to try and... Uh, Help the men cut through this mess. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on, lads. Alright, that's another one we've cut down. And another. Come on. Let's keep the momentum going. There we go. And another. Oh my god, how many of you are there? Right, let me just slip past the here, lads. Don't mind me. Okay, so there's no stairs down on this side. I'm not too sure why. But it seems they've blocked off the one side. Alright. Bit of an odd design, but you know what? We'll work with it. It seems that the front gate is running up the stairs. Is there a way we can get behind them? Not too sure. I don't think there is. 
I guess we jump back in the brawl, lads, and help the men cut down these Romans. I'm sure we'll get through them eventually. That's it, lads. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. What is going on here? We couldn't have fought outside in the open where there's a bit of room, you know? Nope. We're going to just duke it out in the gatehouse. <laughs> And I just slip on through here. Don't mind me. Oh, oh no. We've been stabbed. It is over for us. <laughs> oh, man. What was that fight? What are all these sieges, man? The first one, the enemy stormed the one siege tower and only the one tower. The second siege, there is no one guard in the front gate, no archers or anything. The third siege, we're all just fighting in the gatehouse. Well, I'm not too sure what's going on, but I'm pretty sure the men will get the job done. They just burst through the front gate. They are cutting down the remains of the Romans as I speak. And it looks like they're done. This siege is over. Alright, it was a bit of a sloppy one, but the settlement is now in the hands of the Gauls. We have defeated the Romans once again. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but while we were sieging this settlement, the AI actually got the job done. They have managed to take a castle from the enemy. So, that being said, that just leaves the Romans with these two castles here. If we take a look at the war report, we are now on 70% exhaustion. The enemy hit 100% long ago. They have tried surrendering repeatedly, but I have refused. So we got a 30% buffer to work with while we take these remaining castles. So that being said, I guess the only thing left to do is to march. We're going to take this one here and then we're going to have to walk around the lake and make our way there and we are done. The Roman Empire will officially be no more. Alright, so it looks like we're dealing with about 480 in this castle. As I said, these castle sieges should be easier than the settlement because they're smaller. That being said, they're also on the verge of starving, so that 100 garrison should be gone as well. Which means another easy siege. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Alright, come on men, another siege. We're nearly there. The end is in sight. <laughs> The poor men, we have dragged them away from their homelands for months, for years, doing these constant wars. But as soon as this one is over, they can return home because we will be done. That is it. The Roman Empire will be no more. That's it, men. Come on, bring in the towers. You're nearly there, men. Just a little bit more. You can do it. <laughs> Without a proper ranged weapon, I feel completely useless for the first like two minutes of a siege. Even if I use all my javelins, oh, and when you miss like that, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but at best, we can kill seven people. When I used to have my bow in the last playthrough, we could take down like 30 people before we've even entered the castle. All right, but either way, the towers are in place. It is time to climb. I believe there are about 350 Romans after the garrison starved, something like that. So, uh, this should be straightforward. Should. <laughs> but we will have to see.
All right, I won't lie, lads. The enemy archers are positioned nicely. <laughs> oh, man. They're across a gap from us. Not easily reachable. And they can just shoot me as much as they want while I'm trying to fight these infantry. Oh, man. They, they know what they're doing this time round. It has only taken them God knows how long before the Romans actually learned how to defend a castle. But they are learning. Last fight we had a man sidestep our javelin and now they positioned themselves well. What is going on? And then you get these ones who run straight into me with a bow in their hand. <laughs> okay, so maybe they haven't uh, quite learned how to take us down entirely yet. But they are getting there. They are making progress. We have run the long way round to ambush them from behind. Will they see it coming? The answer is no. Off with their heads. Okay, they've seen us now. We may die. <laughs> oh. I just took a crossbow bolt to the back of the head. Oh, man. There's some crossbow guys in this field here. Well, one of them made sure to take me down. <laughs> what a way to go. Crossbow bolt to the back of the head, man. At least it's going to be quick and painless, I guess. <laughs> but either way, the men are going to clean up. There are only those three crossbow guys left. And that is another castle in the hands of the Gauls. Alright, and now that we have conquered that castle, this is it. The final march of the Gauls. We are going to cross this lake and storm the final Roman castle. Once we take it, it is all over. The timing couldn't be better because we are starting to run out of influence. We are losing a lot due to owning too much land. <laughs> We have been hogging all the land, not sharing it with the men, and as a result, we are rapidly losing influence. And the cost of keeping the army going is not helping either. So it's a good job this is the final one. So let's not waste any more time and march. Hold on a minute, the castle is already being sieged, but not by us. So I'm not too sure what's going on over there. We're going to have to check it out. It is the Aserai. The Aserai have marched with a 2,000 strong army to take this castle. Well, it is not the ending that we wanted, but the Aserai have taken the castle from the Southern Imperium. But that being said, the war with Rome is over. All of their land has been conquered. All three Roman factions have finally fallen. The Northern Imperium, the Western Imperium and the Southern Imperium. The Roman Empire is officially gone. The journey of Crixus has been a long and brutal one. Started out as a Roman slave, forced to serve in the Roman auxiliary until he was later freed and managed to return back to the homeland, only to serve a Gaul king who later sided with the Romans and he had to start a civil war in order to form his own kingdom. After finally uniting the old Gauls with the new Gauls, he has now taken down the Roman Empire. As Crixus has finally accomplished his lifelong dream, this is it. The playthrough has come to an end. Crixus's journey is over. It is time to return to the homeland so he can be with his family and finally rest. Alright, now that the journey of Crixus the Gaul has come to an end, it is time to move on to something new. I'm going to be looking at starting a new playthrough, potentially an old world or Game of Thrones, or maybe even one of the newer mods that have recently popped up. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them. But that is going to be it for Crixus the Goal. And as always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.